Welcome to the Potter training video on output and input configuration. On the small format control panels, there are four possible programmable outputs made up of two NACs and two I.O. circuits and a 5 amp total rating. I.O. circuits are input-output circuits that when used as an output have a 1 amp rating per circuit compared to the 3 amp rating for NAC circuits. The large format control panels have 10 possible outputs over 6 NAC outputs and 4 I.O. circuits and 10 total amps. Finally, the PSN1000 Intelligent Power Supply has 6 Class B or 3 Class A NAC with a total of 10 amps. Potter output circuits have the unique feature of QuadraSync, where there can be four different strobe sync protocols used on separate circuits, and all the visible appliances will synchronize. When using PSN1000 Intelligent Power Supplies, system-wide QuadraSync can be achieved. The four strobe protocols supported are Amseco, WheelLock, System Sensor, and Gentex. Control panel output circuits can either be wired Class B with an end-of-line resistor or in Class A when using a Class A card. In the Potter programming software, all panel NAC and I.O. circuits as well as PSN1000 NAC circuits can be set to provide the following functions. NAC General Purpose is a reversing polarity notification appliance circuit that does not include synchronization. A circuit programmed as this output type is best suited for a device like a 24 volt bell. When set for aux constant, the circuit provides uninterrupted 24 volt DC auxiliary power. Aux resettable is a constant 24 volt DC output that momentarily turns off when the panel is in a reset cycle. Aux door holder is a circuit used to power magnetic door hold opens. This circuit drops power on a programmable alarm condition. Aux door holder low AC works the same as the aux door holder function, but in addition to powering off on alarm, the circuit also drops out with the loss of AC power. Aux ANSI is a legacy function type used with NOMI protocol sounder bases. This circuit will continually turn on and off in a temporal 3 pattern regardless of the state of the panel. The city tie output provides connection to municipal boxes. Sounder base power is the specialized power output for sounder bases only. This power circuit will pulse on and off in a temporal 3 or temporal 4 pattern to provide signaling for either fire or CO alarms. The pulsing characteristics of this circuit make it unsuitable for use with other devices. Release solenoid is the output type used in releasing applications to activate solenoids or other actuators. The last item on the list covers four synchronized strobe notification appliance outputs, including Gentex, Amstico, Wheel Lock, and System Sensor. All NAC or I.O. outputs can be configured to use either the Potter standard 5.1K end-of-line resistor, or can be programmed with a value between 2 and 27K ohm. All NAC circuits are independently programmable, with the capability of assigning each a different function. The same ability to independently program outputs is available on the I.O. circuits. I.O.s can only be wired Class B. The outputs on a PSN1000 have the same 3 amp circuit rating as a control panel. The power supply provides 6 Class B or 3 Class A outputs, which are independently configured using the programming software. Just like on the control panels, each output is independently configurable. QuadraSync is supported on PSN1000 Intelligent Power Supplies, allowing four different strobe sync protocols to be used on separate circuits. The P-Link connection at the power supply provides a master synchronization across the entire fire alarm system. Both NAC and I.O. circuits can be configured for municipal box service or releasing applications. Both options require an end-of-line diode resistor assembly, which is sold separately. Potter addressable relays have several available functions. Those functions include general purpose, where the relay changes state on alarm, zone trouble, where the relay changes when a trouble condition exists within the zone, HVAC shutdown, which is used in conjunction with the input type HVAC restart to meet New York City requirements that HVAC units be restarted manually, and reset follower, where the relay only changes state during the panel's reset cycle. 
Whether using an input from an SLC monitor module, a panel I.O., or the inputs on a PSN 1000, there are numerous function types available, and all are fully mappable in the software. The function type selected affects both how events are displayed on the enunciator and the event code sent to the central station. The options available are contact input pull station, water flow, supervisory, tamper. Contact input fire drill is a point type which is used with a remote switch that initiates a fire drill. Trouble monitor. Contact input aux is a legacy point type that initiated a fire alarm condition. Abort and release follower are point types that are used in releasing applications. Contact input reset and silence offer the ability to remotely reset or silence the control panel. Contact input fire alarm is used with alarm causing devices other than pull stations and water flows. There are options to use a remote switch to disable groups of input or output devices and circuits. Contact input lamp test is used to test LED outputs. CO alarm and CO supervisory are point types used with conventional CO detectors. HVAC restart is used to meet New York City code requirements that HVAC units remain shut down until manually restarted. For this application, this input type is assigned to the same zone as an HVAC shutdown relay. Contact input alerts provide the ability to monitor ancillary devices not typically associated with fire alarms. These are the only point types that can be set to not activate the panel piezo buzzer. The limiting factor associated with any Potter IDC circuit is that it needs to be less than 100 ohms of wire resistance or less than 10,000 feet. For any additional questions, please contact tech support at the phone number or email listed on the screen. And as always, don't forget to follow us on social media.